Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day. Today, I was actually dreading saying that because it's been really hot lately. And actually, yesterday, I didn't get outside. One reason is because it was hot. And then the other was because I didn't have anywhere to go. <laughs> but <laughs> um, it's around 104 degrees Fahrenheit around 40 celsius and you guys know me i'm I, I really really hate hot weather hot weather really frustrates me and i really just feel like i melt you know the, this chocolatey goodness melts <laughs> but uh we're gonna go outside and go to the supermarket and buy some food mainly watermelon because it's on sale and some other stuff and i'm gonna take you guys with us i was debating if i should wear my boots but since the weather calls for it, I'm going with my sandals. I really have this thing about not wearing sandals while I'm on a motorbike. I don't know, I just feel like my feet can get run over. So I just feel safer in my boots. But today we're gonna, we're gonna just go for it. I mean, I've worn my sandals before, but ah, here we go. I'm like, I'm like your mom's like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I realize she's vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get my helmet. By the way, I don't really drive that much. I let Annie drive a lot. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, and I'm melting in this heat. It's horrible. You're gonna get one of those. Um... I want to. <laughs> this is burning. Yeah. My hands are burning. Boy, yeah. The ladies have these things that cover their full body, and it covers their arm and even their hands. And at first we were like laughing that people wear that, but now it's like actually it's kind of practical because it's like torture in this heat. I decided to do as the locals do. I'm wearing my jacket. <laughs> I know it looks funny because it's like 104 degrees. Look, this is what I'm talking about. We need to get something like that where it covers everything. She's doing good. <laughs> focus, focus, you focus. See, everybody's covered. Okay, tell them what we're gonna get. We're basically getting everything that is like juicy. Yeah, we're getting and, um, um, jackfruit, <laughs> passion fruit, of course, watermelon. Yeah. How Man, did you see? You're so cute. Oh, I got sand in my eye. <laughs> Yeah, I compliment her all the time that her lips, lipstick looks good. She actually just got it. This is um, MAC because it would be so Rebel. sad, you know, that you spent so much money on lipstick and it just like, turned out not it good, was like not pretty. 500, was it 500,000? 550? Yeah, 550,000, which is equivalent to like $24. Uh, I think more than that. I think it's like 27. No, like, no, 500 is about whatever. <laughs> yeah, you guys are probably like 25 is good, but for me, I don't spend, I don't spend like more than like five or ten dollars on lipstick. So the amount that I paid for this lipstick is like I splurged a bit. <laughs> also, the colors that they have in Asia, I don't really like them. They're like really light pink, and they just don't fit me. So when I find a lipstick, I kind of have to pay the price if I really want one that I really like because I don't have a lot to choose from. So I was happy to find that Mac store in Lotte, Lotte department store. Your legs burning? Yeah, We're getting ready to go through the market. I want my legs to be tanned. It hurts, right? Yeah. We're getting ready to go through the outdoor market, so I'm gonna try and show you guys when we pass by some of the like outfits that they have for the motorbikes where it covers your full body. Driving down the street, you can see that some people have like their hood up <laughs> and um, their hands covered and like a mask and all you can see is their eyes. Yeah, it's getting hot. This is the entrance to the market. You can already see some of the things hanging right there. Those are all for motorbikes. For when you drive so you don't get burned or too tanned. 
I'm not really worried about not getting tan, more of just trying to stay not burned. <laughs> Get crispy. <laughs> Right there, that's the Indochina Plaza. only 10 o'clock and it's scorching hot out there I also ended up switching from my purse to my backpack because we're gonna go shopping so I like to stuff a lot of stuff in there instead of having to carry like side bags and stuff like grocery bags it's better to have a backpack we're at the Nike store in the Indochina Plaza and she found some shoes are you excited I'm excited they're 80% off 80% off yeah sale Cheapsticks. <laughs> she found some shoes to buy, so I feel so, I feel like I succeeded when she buys something because I'm usually the one buying something, so success. <laughs> These are all their shoes that are on sale. I'm glad you found something. Yes? Yes. I'm showing them my church lady outfit. <laughs> I'm getting earphones at Miniso. Actually, I have these already, but I'm getting another pair. We just got drinks. This is a watermelon with tapioca balls. Water watermelon juice. Yeah. We're at... Balls. <laughs> Tapioca <laughs> pearls, they're balls, pearls, whatever. <laughs> We're at a uh, filling tea and it's really cheap. 13,000? Uh, no, this one is 17. Oh, 17,000. Less than a dollar. Mm. Mm. Oh, the watermelon is refreshing. Mm hmm. By the way, usually I have my nails done, but I decided to take a break from the gel nails. I was a little too gel nail happy and I had it four times in a row, but I decided to give my nails a break and let them rest. Mm. How is it? It's good. Mm. I always get it. I like it. Mm. What is this called? Uh, coffee cookie. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. Mm. I like mine better though. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's refreshing for this heat. I don't know if any of you guys are like me, but I struggle with drinking juices. Like usually I don't like to go out and buy a juice because I'm not a sipper. I like to drink things really fast. <laughs> yeah, so I have to control myself and try and like sip it slowly so I can feel like I'm taking my time and enjoying myself. But in reality, I would really drink this in like less than five minutes, probably. Yeah. You could get people. You could get drinks of that. Maybe. I don't know. I would. I usually don't buy things out like this because I um like I don't go to Starbucks and buy stuff. I would drink it too fast, and it's <laughs> like so expensive. But this is so cheap that I wouldn't mind 
<laughs> you know? Yeah. I like the way you were thinking. <laughs> yeah. We're heading to Big C now. I never would have thought I would be wearing a jacket in 104 degree weather. But here I am. I never would have thought I would be in Vietnam either, but here I am. <laughs> I wish I, I wore a pants or pants on yeah. because my legs are hurting so much right now. Look, we're in five seconds right there. Yeah. So. We're sitting in the shade. We're supposed to be in the other lane over there, but it's way too hot, so. We have 60 seconds in the shade. I like that the um, the stoplights count down so we know how much time we have. We're laughing because she wasn't. We were not the only ones doing that. There was like a whole row of us. We're just running. I thought they were gonna turn. We thought they were gonna turn, but they were all ready to go when the lights started. <laughs> not let <not> know. <laughs> you guys remember the days we used to take the bus to Big C? Time has changed. Yeah, we have motorbikes now. We upgrade. <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> Isn't this the funniest advertisement? I've never seen a pregnant lady advertising. But it makes sense, you know, when you're pregnant you have cravings. By the way, we discovered this whole new area of Big C that we wouldn't have discovered if we hadn't been driving. There's like a, a parking area and then on the way to Big C, you have to walk through this whole shopping area that we had never seen before until now well not now but before when we started driving it's been a while since i brought you guys to big c but they have a new system so instead of um, wrapping your bag they have these little ties they tie your bag so that you don't steal anything so i actually like this better than having my bag wrapped today the watermelons are a bit small like this is my hand they're smaller than usual we already got watermelon Next is jackfruit. This is very orange. Like yeah, not, like not good. I don't think it's good. Oh, yeah. They have durian, but we're not getting that today. We prefer jackfruit. You prefer jackfruit too, huh? Okay. Yeah. It looks like we're gonna get five watermelons. And we have the fake birds in the background still. If you guys watched that video where we ate at the vegetarian restaurant and tried some vegetarian fake meats, this is that lalot plant that was wrapped, kind of like a, what do you call it? Like a, it's like an egg roll but wrapped with this. This is the fake meat we tried. It's like a fake fish cake and it's actually really good and even though I'm not like a fish person, it doesn't taste fishy, but it's really nice when you fry it so we're gonna get a couple of these. And this girl was so happy because it's on sale. It's on sale, we like sales. We save like 10,000, which is like 50, 50 cents. cents. <laughs> We're gonna try this cinnamon pork pate. It's actually really nice because even though there are very few fake meat options, they do have some uh, fake meat things and vegetarian vegan products. There's like a little section where you can get fish sauce. I was so excited because we found fish sauce last time and they have like fake meat products and that's really nice to try and like experiment with. Sometimes we get some that we don't like and then some we get some that we do like. This is the vegetarian section. They have tons of stuff and we were excited to find that they have vegetarian fish sauce. And they also have like um, beef type things and other things in a can and then they have fake meat other things i didn't really like which one was it this one's beef pork i at least know some basic <laughs> vietnamese to tell beef and pork uh, but we had a chicken one i don't see it right now but i didn't like the texture of the chicken one it was too chewy and it cooked weird so Surprisingly, I like the fish cake thing. Mm -hmm. 
This is my favorite little snack, passion fruit. It's sour and crunchy. Look at these huge mangoes. It's as big as my hand. Bigger than my hand. All right, this is a food haul. This is everything we got. First, starting out with peanut butter, corn, coconut cream. We got two of these. This is some chili pepper flakes. Rice paper wraps that we can wrap up some vegetables and dip them in some sauce. These noodles. Carrots. Garlic. Oh no, this is onion. Onion. Cucumber. Thai basil. We got a lot of different greens. You can't see them right now, but pretty much lots of green vegetables. Got onion instead of hot sauce. Oh yeah, you mean you thought it was onion? Yeah. I mean garlic. Yeah. yeah, we made that mistake before, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, then we have these fake meats. This is vegan fish cake. We got six of these, and then one of these vegan cinnamon pork pate things. Looks interesting. These are really good when you fry them. So. Slice them thin and fry them. So we're gonna try this other one too. We have some jackfruit, lychee, passion fruit, and five watermelons. And the total came to 867,263 dong. And the total is $38. Bam. have round two we have some watermelon this time it looks delicious and some rice with our fake fish cakes and some leftover pumpkin that we had this is a new addiction yeah our new addiction <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna eat it until we get tired of it All right, you guys, comment below what did you eat today and what is the temperature where you're from or where you're at right now. So let me know. It's been hot today. I know I complained a lot, but that's gonna be pretty much the next three months, probably, maybe even a little bit longer. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, become a patron on Patreon. And thank you for all the new patrons that I have. I got a couple of new ones. So thank you guys so much. And thank you for those who have continued to be patrons. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. All right, guys. Now we have our papaya salad. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this.